Am I the asshole for laughing in my friend's face because he said I'm financially abusing my boyfriend? My boyfriend, Matt, and I have been together for about 10 months now and he moved in with me about 4-5 months ago. I own my flat and I have a somewhat well-paying job. Matt just went back to school part-time, meanwhile working a lower-paying job. He pays for half the food, utilities, dates. I like to travel a lot, but Matt can't really afford it, so I mostly go with my friends, but he came with us for a little winter holiday after Christmas. After we got back, one of my friends, David, who was with us too, came to me saying he wants to talk to me about Matt. David told me that he observed Matt during our vacation and what I was doing to him really wasn't okay. He saw that Matt was struggling to pay for things, often checking if he had enough money. David eventually said that it's wrong of me to expect Matt to pay for half of everything, since I make so much more than him and the fair thing would be to divide things based on our income percentages. Like I pay for 70% of the things and Matt only pays 30% instead of 50-50. David told me that I'm not allowing Matt to save any money of his own, trapping him in our relationship, since Matt couldn't afford to live alone, and that's financially abusive. I just laughed at David's face. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I didn't really try to refute anything he was saying, because none of it made any sense. David got really offended, angry, disappointed or I don't know what. It was kind of hard to read and he said he expected better of me. That he came to me with a genuine concern wanting to be helpful and he didn't expect my immature reaction to it. It has been a couple days since this and I still can't wrap my head around it. I'm thinking maybe I should apologize to David for laughing at him as he really did look concerned, but what the fuck was he even thinking about? Am I the asshole? Edit. I did make one point to David after laughing, which was that Matt lives with me for free. I only ask for half the utilities, which is less than 50 euros a month. I, on the other hand, have a pretty big mortgage. To this, David said that Matt lived with his parents before without having to pay rent, so that's irrelevant and I felt like there wasn't much more to be said. Um what? You aren't married with him so you're not liable to financially support him. He's not even paying rent. He's an adult that made a big boy decision to move out of his parents. Now if he's paying more than he can afford, then accept that he can't afford this lifestyle and needs to move back home. The financial abuse accusation was beyond unreasonable. Not the asshole. Edit to add. If someone accused me of financially abusing my 10-month-old relationship boy who lived in my house rent-free, I would laugh purely from the confusion and ridiculousness of it all. Which I'm assuming is what Op did. The offense for laughing is way lighter than this incredibly out-of-pocket accusation. Am I the asshole for leaving my cousin's wedding and taking back my gift because my dress was inappropriate? Hi all. I, 18F, recently attended my cousin A's, 25F, wedding in Australia. Lots went down, and I am getting flack for my dress. We are an Indian family, and A's husband M, 26M, is white, so there were two ceremonies, like the Jonas Chopra wedding. This, is pretty similar I wore to the Indian ceremony, and to keep with the floral pink theme, I decided I would wear, this exact dress, to the Christian ceremony. A is my favorite cousin and the one I'm closest to, so I decided to go all out with my gift. My family got them something, and I added a little envelope with a check for a grand that I had saved from working. The Gagra Choli was fine for the Indian ceremony, so I figured the dress would, too, because they look similar in color and pattern. However, my dress was deemed inappropriate by M's family, and they approached me saying so. I thought it was because of the slit, but they all said it looked too pale and unacceptable, even though it was a blush pink with bright, almost neon colors on it. I said sorry, but I didn't have another dress suitable enough for a wedding that I could change into, and M's family seemed mad. I left it at that and went on with my day. The ceremony was beautiful, and I was happy for A&M however, when the wine started flowing at the reception, everything went out of control. I was on the dance floor partying it up with family and friends when I felt a splash down my front. I looked down, and I almost freaked out because I thought I got shot or something. There was this huge red wine stain dripping down my front, and I saw M's sister, mom, and aunt laughing, with M's sister holding a glass. I saw red, and that's when I snapped. I started yelling about how they ruined a brand new dress for a stupid reason. They kept laughing, and I saw a giggle and M grin. That's when I decided I would leave and take back the check. That's when they stopped laughing. M started to ask me to stay, and when his fam realized how much money was in the envelope, 
they started to apologize and talk about how that money could be helpful in this economy. I left because I felt disrespected. Now M, his family, and my parent all say it is bad taste for different reasons. My fam wants me to keep the peace, but I don't want to give my hard-earned money to horrid people. Now I am getting texts, DMs, and WhatsApp, and my phone is just blowing up. I refuse to talk to A until she gets her husband to apologize, and she is trying. He just won't. Am I the asshole? Edit. My age. I am 18, not 19. Also, I am from the United States, not Australia, for context. Also, at the Indian ceremony, A wore maroon red, traditional Indian wedding colors, and, to the Christian, a white dress. More info. It wasn't a conservative wedding by any means. The venue wasn't a church, it was this pretty outdoor botanical garden. As for a helping, as soon as she saw my face and reaction, she left to come to help me. I left her and walked out, yelling about me taking the money back, and that is when M's family tried to stop me. Not the asshole if that's the dress you wore, then they seem to be overly concerned. But if, A, was laughing, smirking about the wine, maybe she's the one who was upset by it. Regardless, an apology from either of them sounds like it would be meaningless. Keep the money and treat yourself. Not the asshole. Aussie here. That dress is 100% fine. Sure, the base color is quite light but it's clearly fully patterned. If that isn't an acceptable dress to wear to a wedding in Australia then 70% of the guests at Australian summer weddings are Oz. Not the asshole, tell them you needed the money to replace the dress that they ruined. Not the asshole but why would you want to talk to your cousin again anyway? Remove yourself from their social media and just forget about them. Do you really want people like that in your life? Am I the asshole for fighting with my parents about having my own bedroom? Me, 14F, my twin sister, Kate, and out parents, 40s, live in a four-bedroom house. My parents have the master, the second room is a guest room, dad uses the third room as an office and my sister and I share the other room. The three regular bedrooms are small. Dad works from home two days a week and we have guests maybe ten days a year. I'm very outgoing. I like having people over, and Kate's an introvert who wants to watch her old TV shows and talk to her friends on Discord. She likes order and I like putting my clothes on the chair without being yelled at. We've been asking to have our own room since we were nine, and my parents are refusing to move us because, we don't have enough space for everybody's needs. Quarantine was awful. Kate and I fought all the time and our parents yelled at her when she moved her stuff to the guest room because mom has her craft stuff in the closet and, what if grandma had to stay with us for a while? I love my sister but this is making me like her less and sometimes I think she barely tolerates me because we're always in each other's space. We barely fit in here anymore. The closet is too small for our clothes. Kate's books are in stacks on the floor. I can't listen to music in peace. And my friends ask why are we sleeping in bunk beds in a four-bedroom house. Yesterday I was looking for my hair curler and caused a book avalanche that knocked the USS Enterprise whatever off the desk. Kate was screaming. I was screaming and she asked for the thousandth time to combine the guest room and office so she can take the other room. Dad said he absolutely needs an office. I said I absolutely need a closet and it doesn't make sense to have all this space and put both his kids in a single room. Mom said we're not entitled to a bedroom each and there are millions of children who share a room and if we wanted more space we should get rid of some stuff and stop living like hoarders. Like, we're sorry for being two separate people with two people's worth of belongings that you bought for us. I asked who is entitled to a room that's empty 346 days per year or an office that's used twice a week and why I'm the unreasonable one for wanting some space. After that we were yelling in circles and Kate took her laptop and locked herself in the guest room. Dad asked what does she think she's doing and she said, googling nursing homes with bunk beds, which helped not at all. So, are we the assholes? Today my aunt and grandma visited and called us ungrateful for everything we have and were disappointed in us. I don't believe I'm an ass because I just asking to use the space we already have but at the end of the day it's my parents' house, not mine. Kate and I wouldn't be angry if we lived in a two-bedroom house but four bedrooms? One room just sitting there, being a waste of square FT and taxes? And we have to share? Sorry for any mistakes, I'm not a native speaker but I spend too much time online. I showed Kate and she said, paragraphs. I'm gonna go with not the asshole. Your parents are putting the possibility of needing a whole room for a guest once or twice a year over the very real needs of their daughters who live there 365 days a year. 
Also your sister saying she's googling nursing homes with bunk beds is hilarious. Not the asshole. She said, googling nursing homes with bunk beds. Thank you for making me laugh as well. Not the asshole. But I laughed to tears about nursing homes with bunk beds. If my kid said that to me, I'd have a really hard time taking myself so seriously that I wouldn't fall over laughing. I do think a dedicated guest room and a dedicated office is a ridiculous waste when the family harmony would be drastically improved by separating children. My office is moving to the dining room because I can no longer use my daughter's closet as an office. She needs privacy and personal space. Am I the asshole for giving my husband my honest opinion after he asked? My husband and I, 42F, 39M, recently passed through his hometown and so made a trip by his childhood house to show me where he grew up. He was ecstatic to find that the Chinese takeaways, fish and chip shop that his mum got for him each Friday as a kid to was still open 20 plus years later. Even though we're on a diet I decided to indulge him and go there for a nostalgia dinner. Big mistake. After spending half an hour talking to the elderly Chinese owner about how he used to go there as a kid, Without consideration for me just standing there waiting, he ordered half the menu. Fish and chips, lemon chicken, sweet and sour pork, chicken fried rice. His excuse being we could save leftovers for the next few days. Even though he knows we are on a diet. When we finally got home to eat he asked me what I thought. I'm someone that speaks how I feel, he knows this, so I was honest, it was terrible. The chips were too salty and not crispy enough, fried rice skimped on the meat. Sweet and sour pork didn't feel authentic, among other things. I'm confident if not for my husband's nostalgia glasses he would say the same. My husband is acting like I personally insulted his late mother. As if I was supposed to lie and pretend to like a disgusting meal he didn't even make. I stand by my comments 100% but want to know if I am the asshole here or if my husband just needs to man up a bit. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole. My husband is acting like I personally insulted his late mother because you did. He was ecstatic to find that the Chinese takeaways, fish and chip shop that his mum got for him each Friday as a kid. You didn't have to rag on it. You could have just said it wasn't your style. Holy, poop, you are the asshole. Your husband wanted to take you on a trip down memory lane to a place that was important to him when he was a child. And you defecated all over that trip. All you had to do was say something like, I'm so glad you're enjoying it, and thank you for sharing this with me. You all were on a diet? Big whoop. It's one evening and a one-off event. Too many people use phrases like, I'm someone that speaks how I feel, to justify assholery. Just so here. Apologize to your husband for your gross insensitivity.